What's up, Stat Collectors? This is your boy, 8Stats, back again with another one. Um, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. This way you'll know about my new content once I upload so you guys can know what's coming. But as promised, I've been waiting for this for like, oh, after three pushback, it's finally here. So um, with that said, let's get this bad boy out of the shipping box and I'll show you guys what the art box looks like. One. Oh, man. This is amazing. I, I, not bragging, guys. I've been waiting for this for like a long, long time. And I'm really happy that it's here. So as you can see, here's the art box. Basically, um, the back, this is will be like the front of the box. And one will be like the back. It doesn't really matter, but they both look the same. And then there's also some um, art on the side. As you can see, I posted a picture on my left. So you can see what the side of part of the box looks like. So, I mean, with that said, I am super, I hope you're as excited as I am. I am super excited to get this out the box. So, let's get the unboxing. One. Okay, so here we go with the um, unboxing. And I gotta say, guys, I really, really love what they're doing with these new straps. It's a lot easier to open. Um, let me see, here I think they did tape. Uh, yes, they did. They take uh, some parts over here, which probably wasn't necessary, but hold on, let me just grab a, a knife. One second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Just wanted to grab my box cutter. Um, we can just cut here. And this is, um, this is a box two of two. I wanted to start with the base first. Um, okay. It's got a cut over here. And I think that should do it. All right, let's open it up. I've been waiting for a long time for this, guys. Okay. Let's open it up. It's a lot of plastic stuff. Um, I can tell this is well packaged. This is a lot of plastic, a lot of wrapping. So I can tell they took their time to package this up nicely. So shout out to Iron Studios. Um, so this looks like this is uh, one of the bases. And they come in different, different pieces. Okay. I'm trying to take my time, guys, because I don't want to... Wow, look at this, look at this, look at this. Wow. Just look at that. Look at that, guys. I mean, you can already see some wreckage. There's like a statue here. Looks like... Uh, mm, I don't know who this will be. And um, I guess from Roman... Um, Society of it's a statue right here of a broken head, and what's even cool, you got little half X sign here. Wow, I love it. Let's get this other, and this, these pieces are heavy, guys. So make sure you take your time with this. Um, yeah, this this part right here is a little heavy. It has some good weight on it. <clears throat> so let's see. What this part looks like. <clears throat> wow, they, they really did a good job in wrapping this up. Awesome. Oh, look at this. Wow, uh, this is another part of the wreckage, the school. You can tell this is where the sentinel foot goes. We have here. I don't know what these little patches are for, but box two has like a an instruction kit, so I'll figure it out. I guess that's for the base, so it won't slide. <clears throat> okay, so let's go to the body of the center. Oh, excuse me, guys. Uh, usually this stuff makes me. 
Okay. <clears throat> so this would be half of the sensor. Oh wow, look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Wow. I mean, you get the part where Wolverine is supposed to be smashing out. It's like a complete opening. Excellent, excellent job. <clears throat> Ask me if it's worth it already? Hell yeah. I'm glad I got this. So that's one down, two more pieces to go. And this looks like a part of a a broken uh, I guess how do you call that thing I can't even pronounce it right now um, I hate to say it uh, like a you know a beam yeah this is a broken beam from the X-Men um, school and then um, let's see this looks like um, one of the sentinel arms look at that Absolutely lovely. Whew. Man. This is, this is, I don't know, guys. This is going to be in my collection for a really, really long time. Unless they top this, which I doubt because um, I'm so crazy. I got like the majority of the, the, the uh, proximity pieces coming. Here's the other hand. Oh, what an excellent job. Wow, what an excellent job. I mean, that looks absolutely amazing. Okay guys, so let's open up box one. In the meantime, I'm gonna put this on the turntable so this way we can set it up for the uh, the whole configuration. One. Okay, guys, so here's uh, box one, a two, and like I said, it does come with um, instructions how to assimilate the, uh, the Sentinel. So um, I guess I'll be looking at this while I'm putting it together for you guys. So let's open up the box. Okay. By the way, um, the first Sentinel came in perfect, perfect shape. I mean, I forgot to mention that. So I really appreciate when you can get something that you paid uh, a lot of money for and it comes in one piece um, I'm sure you guys collectors have had some nightmares where you got a, a package not only to open up your your gift to yourself and find out that the package was completely the statue was damaged oh, I just got a loop over here and that's an absolute nightmare when that happens because I never like to ship things back all right, so let's open up box one. And box one is where all the bad boys are. Wow. So this is going to take some time. Uh, I hope you guys um, are patient enough <laughs> to see this because this is, this is going to be a very, it's kind of like putting a puzzle together. And I'll try to be as quick as possible. I know you guys have a lot of important things to do today, but I really appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, check out my channel. Um, so, here's, I guess, a sentinel, the sentinel leg. Okay. Make sure you shoot me some comments. Make sure you give me some likes. Wow. So, that's one leg. Okay. Here's the other sentinel leg. I mean, it's really cool. I like the bolts that they have on the uh, metal. We'll get to that. Um, 
I'm not sure what this thing is. Oh, this looks like a, I guess with the exterior, the street light. Wow, I mean, this is really, really insane. We really, really went out loud <laughs> to uh, give us something this phenomenal. Okay, um, I'll show you some of the characters. This looks like Beast. Yep, that's Beast. Awesome. Awesome. Check them out, guys. That's your man, Beast. Okay. Uh, excuse me one second. <laughs> Um, who's this? These are just, I guess, oh, this is, looks like Wolverine's mask. Okay, Wolverine. Yep. That's the guy. <laughs> All right. Put that to the side. Let's take this piece out. And that looks like the body of Wolverine. I mean, they really packaged this stuff up really well. Did a good job. Wow, look at this. Like a miniature Wolverine. That's his body. And let's see what this thing is. I really don't know what this is. Um, I'm going to have to look at the instructions. Oh. It looks like the uh, the shoulder pad for the Sentinel. Wow. I mean, this thing is detailed, guys. It's really detailed. I'm going to show you guys a few more characters because <clears throat> I don't want to waste too much time because all these other pieces are just uh, pieces that go with um, the whole uh, diorama, like um, broken pieces, um, of course, this looks like the body of uh, Rogue. Okay. That's Rogue. And next to her, looks like we have Cyclops. Uh, really, really amazing. Okay. Who's over here? Oh, oh, this Jubilee. <laughs> oh, and she looks great. She looks absolutely amazing. Wow, this is crazy. <sighs> all right, so I think we have all the characters displayed. Um. Yeah, so I know it's uh, Cyclops, Rogue, um, Wolverine, Beast in this diorama. And the rest, I mean, I'll show you guys this quick painting if you guys want to take a look at it. This is just uh, a painting of um, the original X-Men, which is cool. I like the fact they put that little cameo with this display. Let's see what this is. And then we start assembling this bad boy. Oh, okay. This looks like another shattered piece of the school. Wow, the Sentinel really did some wreckage on the Xavier School. Wow. All right, so the rest of this is just basically, I guess, uh, just pieces that go around the, uh, the uh, whole diorama. But with that said, you know, let's get this uh, bad boy on the turntable and let's see what he looks like. One.
here it is. This is uh, Sentinel one out of freaking uh, three. So, man, for me, this is nostalgia. This is nostalgia on top of nostalgia. I've been waiting for this to come for the longest. And guys, please forgive the footage because uh, today was a hectic day for me and I've been really, really trying to you know, hustle and get this um, uh, video review out to you guys as soon as possible. I mean, this thing is outstanding. And those of you who are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. This way you know about my upcoming content. And my subscribers, if you like what I had to show you guys so far, make sure you hit that like button and give me some comments. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, but, um, you know, if you guys know anything about the X-Men, I mean, they first appeared in uh, September of uh, 1963, uh, issue one. I highly suggest you should pick that up and read it so you can get some back uh, story to this uh, comic. Um, but uh, in the meantime, let me just cut um, and I'll show you guys uh, some close up and deep of the details on this thing. This thing is absolutely sick. I am so happy to own it. Uh, so let's cut, be right back. So guys, as you can see, you got, I mean, this is one amazing piece. Um, you have here Rogue smashing the side of the Sentinel's face. Over here, you got Beast trying to rip out the power cords from the Sentinel. And then, of course, you got my man here, Wolverine. I mean, this is just a monster ripping out through the chest of the Sentinel. Then you got uh, Jubilee over here. She's trying to do her thing, get this bad boy. And they're very... 90s uh accurate i don't know if you guys seen the uncanny x-men uh animated series in the 90s very accurate you got over here uh cyclops with his beam i mean just blasting i mean look at this this sentinel is done and then let me just pan around for you guys i mean the base is just absolutely insane i mean look at the uh the damage I mean, you have like wreckage all over the uh, Xavier School. And I just can't wait to see how I'm gonna display this thing when I have all the proximity pieces together, which is gonna take a tremendous amount of space. But I know what I'm doing, guys. You guys are probably thinking where I'm gonna put it, but you will see. <laughs> you guys shall see. Um, Yeah, so this is just, I mean, this was world, uh, this is just worth the wait. I mean, man, look at this thing. I mean, it is beautiful, you know. And then with Wolverine, you can switch out um, this, like, swap. It comes with another hand if you don't like that whole effect. I kind of like it with that whole, like, slice and dice effect. I mean, this thing is, I mean, look at the face. Whoa. Awesome. Only thing though, I wish um um Cyclops beam. I wish they would have made it where it like lit up. That would have been a, that would have been a cool feature. And then let's look at the uh base again. I mean he's just like smashing down into the school. The details on this base is absolutely amazing. You can even see chips, cracks on the wood that he just smashed down and broke up. Ah, oh, man. I mean, everything about this is detailed. I like the fact how you have, like, these little statues here all broken to pieces. There's more details here. You know, I guess that looks like the door of the Xavier School that they basically... The Sentinel just smashed down and broke this damn thing. Um, one of the pillars here, this detail here, all cracked up. Absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. And then what I like about this, like I said before, you see like you have like the bolts on the Sentinel, which is like real iron. I like the fact how they put the, um, if you look at the vertebrae, it's like all iron, which is really, really awesome. Wow. Amazing job. Lamp post here. Iron Studios did a really, really great job. Wow. Really cool. 
So I hope you guys like my um, my close up on the um, the uh, Iron Studios uh, Sentinel. But uh, also, I mean, if you guys don't know anything about the history of the Sentinel, I also want to give you guys a quick uh, backstory. I think you're gonna like it, so check it out. So guys, the Sentinels first appeared in 1965 Uncanny X-Men number 14 through 16 which was expanded upon in issues number 57 through 59. So you got this guy, Bala for Trash, um, who was an anthropologist and scientist, and he first appeared to cause trouble for the X-Men during the time they thought they could relax and recuperate from their previous battles against other mutants. So while they were practicing to get back in form, Trash held a press conference which he revealed to the world that the real threat to the world isn't the Cold War or atomic bombs, but mutants. Waiting for a chance to enslave humanity, so, Professor Xavier, fearing that he wanted to hold a, a press conference to show mutants aren't a threat to humanity. And in response, Trash revealed he created a uh, robotic defense for mankind so that mutants could never take over his army of sentinels. So, at the same time, Trash concluded Xavier must be a mutant and commanded his sentinels to take Xavier into custody with Xavier detained. So, Trash informed the public that his robot army would be more powerful enough to defeat any mutant. However, his own sentinels turned on him and zapped Trask. As the situation got worse, Xavier used his mutant powers to call his team for help. So following the X-Men arrival, several sentinels retreated with Trask as their prisoner. They needed him to help uh, replicate themselves. So a sentinel was left behind and Xavier used its robotic brain to extract the location of the factory. So at the factory, the Sentinels ordered Trash to create their army, stating the only way to help mankind is to conquer it. And at the same time, the X-Men arrive in a hidden base which arose from a hill. Um, so while two members of the uh, X-Men team was uh, quickly captured, Trash pleaded for them to stop, revealing he didn't create them, but only to... Uh, but the only person that created them was the, the master mode. So taking him to assist the master mode and create more sentinels, they commanded Trask to serve them, which he refused. In turn, he was uh, threatened with the destruction of half of the United States. But thanks to Professor Xavier mental powers, he managed to knock out the sentinels, manning the base's defenses, giving the rest of the team the chance to invade. Now, a servant of the master mode, Trask used his psycho probe to interrogate a captured X-Men beast to learn the location of their base. So recognizing the Sentinels were just as dangerous as the mutants he feared, Trask sacrificed himself by sabotaging the base equipment, destroying it, and leaving him buried in rubble. So that basically sums it up, guys. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's basically the story uh, behind um, the Sentinels and how they came to be. But of course, they wasn't always this size. That's later uh, throughout the years. And of course, um, you know, the X-Men um, didn't have uh, this image, of course. Uh, they later basically developed throughout the years. But um, the X-Men uh, story is a plethora. I mean, you have to, like, go through a lot of reads. Um, right now, I'm actually trying to get a few Omnibus. I have, uh, uh, I guess, the Omnibus 2. But um, I'm looking to get all of the uh, Uncanny X-Men Omnibus. Um, but right now, I mean, I just really, really wanted to get this statue um, this brings back so memories. I mean, I have like X-Men series volume one. I mean, of course you got <laughs> the Sentinels on the back, um, volume two. I mean, this is all the stuff I used to watch. And then again, I got, you see, volume three and volume four. I mean, this is, this is like a prize for me. I can't wait to show you guys eventually where this thing is going to rest in this, uh, rest in place and show you the display that I have in mind for it. But um, I mean, this thing is beautiful. I just can't keep my eyes off, take my eyes off of it. I mean, I waited for such a long time to get this. And those of you who have gotten this piece, you are really lucky. Give yourself a round of applause. Because I think um, this is probably gonna be rated the number one statue of the year. So, I mean, I really hope you guys like what I had to uh, offer today. Hope you guys are entertained. Let's keep this passion going. I really love this hobby as much as you do. Again, I go by H stats. I collect statues and I love it. So with that said, keep your stats up and play the beat for this bad boy. One.
Thanks for watching guys, but don't go anywhere. Make sure to check out my review on Michael Myers' one-fourth scale statue. I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. Peace.